Hold on. Um, I read something. I think I'm supposed to... Did I? Did I? Did I? After being... There we go. That's what I needed to do. I needed the font to cup. Which I now have. Cool. Never mind. I did what I needed to do. <laughs> I have the culprits. You're Silence. Been... Very surprised to find out <laughs> that Eben's still alive. Miss Facilier, Lunara, you're back. You must have handled things. Oh no. Well, Mr. Trussell really is about to faint. I didn't think you'd be back at the Institute, Trussell. I figured you'd be stuck dealing with paperwork forever. This, this is impossible. Goodness gracious. Raimondo, how does it feel taking over my job? Anything worth reporting? What a wonderful reunion, Mr. Abbott. It really isn't. <laughs> Look around you. You really do seem suited for janitorial work. <laughs> he didn't even clean it up properly. Mainly because he didn't clean you up. Thank you for bringing those two back, honorary senior researcher, Lenara, Miss Facilier. Hopefully this marks the end of the Fontaine Research Institute's series of unfortunate events in turmoil. I don't know. Edwin's cooking up something and I don't like the sound of it. Great. The Fontaine Research Institute will now fall into deathly stillness, but all inspirations wither and die. You certainly have already sparked much inspiration around the Institute. It's time to calm things down. Raimondo Hayavenport. You know nothing about research. You are not fit to lead the Fontaine Research Institute of Kinetic Energy Engineering. But I know how to keep it up and running properly, Edwin Eastinghouse. What you need to do right now is to stay away from research and Archeum. It's better for all of us. Sometime later, the Maison Gardienage's personnel arrives and take both Naka and Edwin. It's for the best that they finally leave the Institute for good. Yeah, but what happens to them? I don't feel like justice has been served until I find out what happened to them. Hey, Charlotte, I've got a scoop. Exclusive. Let the good people of Fontaine know. Thank goodness my nightmare has finally ended. Mr. Chassave, Mr. Lamarck, yes? I've heard about the assistance you rendered to our institute. Please, take a well-deserved rest here while your compensation is being arranged. <laughs> I didn't think someone like me would ever be associated with the institute. Don't say that about yourself, dear sir. You're sincere and kind-hearted, so you're definitely a good person. Maybe we'll enlist your help in the future. As for you, honorary senior researcher, you did us a great favor once again. How should we ever repay you? Just don't get blown up again. By the way, where's Miss Facilier? We should give her some room to calm down. Looks like the image of Edwin Eastinghouse she had created in her mind has completely shattered. Like I said, don't meet your heroes. Edward and Naka need to calm down as well. I hope they can reflect on their own mistakes. No, sir, hubris and narcissism will prevent them from doing that. Will they stay in the fortress of Meripede all their life? Judging by how dangerous they are, I hope they never leave that place. However, given the state of things here at the Fontaine Research Institute, I can only hope I don't run into situations that would require their expertise. <laughs> That's a good point, because then your stuff, they ain't going to help. Uh, okay, so Edwin's research is still out there in the world, wherever he was doing his research, so that's a problem. Two, who is Contini and where is he? Because he's a dangerous fellow. I thank you again on behalf of the Fontaine Research Institute, honorary senior researcher. If you have any further questions, I'm at your service. What is stopping Concini from, like, sending equipment through to the fortress for Edwin or Naka? A predictable ending. <laughs> it doesn't really feel like we've fully fixed the problem. Oh wow, just completing a quest eats that out. I still... Mm. How do you feel about Edwin's coming back to life? Whoa, you scared me. How I feel? Nothing, to be honest. I only hope that irresponsible scoundrel pays for what he's done. Personally, I'd tie his hands and legs up and blindfold him to stop him from getting his hands on Arkham if I could. Yeah, I agree with that, except for the fact that he would dehydrate and die from lack of water. What will happen to Naka and Edwin? They will temporarily stay at the Fortress of Meripede, but they will repent for their misconduct. Yeah. Is it really repenting if they don't actually repent? I don't know if just a, a time period of confinement is really technically repentance. 
That said, the Ebon I know doesn't do it. Yeah. No matter. As long as Ebon is kept away from the research equipment and Narkin. But what if Conchini sends it to him? As for Necker, I don't believe it causes more trouble for us. I can only hope I don't run into situations which require their expertise, as you said before. Are there any other questions? <sighs> I'm going to ask about Facilier. I don't think we're going to meet Facilier again. Uh, what happens? Before I get distracted. But what happens if I go back to uh, Lundu's Harbour? Can I find um, Chessiver? So Chossiver. There? Or uh, do I never run into this gentleman ever again? Thank you for coming. He's kind of cool. I liked him. He had principles. Actually, since I'm here. Oh my god. Y'all need to just not. Um, I need to do one more piece of it. Oh, four. I know I used it, didn't I? For Toma. Should give me two. No? Oh, the resin. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. And I can mine 10 atoms. It's fairly simple. Assuming I find some in my travels. Uh, anyway, we'll go back to Lumadoos. Just see if we can find him. It doesn't hurt to look. I figured I probably shouldn't sprint when I'm about to yeet off the side of a cliff. Yeah, I don't see him on the mark. Could they be back on their ship? Maybe? No, because when I went there the first time, there was nobody on the ship. So no, I don't think they're going to be on there. Oh, 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 there's somebody on the ship. I didn't see them the first time. Oh, because I looked from this angle and that obscured them. Yeah. Hey, guys. How you doing? What they reward you with? Mark? Boss, I think we need to play it safe from now on. How have you been? Even though it's been two seconds since I last saw you. Hi, recently? Well, I can't say that everything's going smoothly. Just that things are calm. At least the boss doesn't have sneaky people with their own agenda around him now. It's true. This was a, actually quite a practical way to cull the herd. And and get the trustworthy... Is that Fusilier the over there? Uh, people functioning here. He can safely do what he wants. Of course, seeing that we don't have much more at the moment, all the things the boss wants to do are stuck in the planning stages. Oh, that sucks. About the device. You mean the Numosa Ray self-defense device? Well, when I offered to return to Miss Facilier, she immediately wanted to chuck it into the sea. It took some persuading, but she reluctantly agreed to let me use it for the time being. Though she also reiterated that she never wanted to lay eyes on it ever again. In any case, I'm very grateful for Miss Facilier's kindness. Boss, I bet you sell the patent. This, I'll be considered the one who watches over Lumidu's Hubba for real, right? How have you been? Fantastic. No one's secretly trying to get rid of me or trying to blow up Lumidu's Hubba. And people have stopped engaging in shady practices like bribery, fraud, or backstabbing. Peace has been restored to Lumidu's Hubba. Not bad. And I played a big role in it all too. Even better. Aren't you thinking about hiring more people? Because you're short-handed. Yes, I'm seriously considering that and discussing with Lamarck. However, <laughs> maybe that shameless pattern was right. You won't make a fortune by working with me. I doubt many people will want to get involved. But no matter what, I won't take dirty money. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. Isn't it nice to have principles? But uh, what about uh, Loye? Why Loye? I specifically went looking for him later, but the scoundrel had already made up with everything. The house was totally empty, not even a piece of paper left behind. <laughs> Greedy yet cowardly. He wouldn't dare do anything to me, not unless he had a powerful patron like Congeni. I pity I can't find him now, or I'd show him my special kind of hospitality. Does this mean that maybe in 4.3 we'll encounter these people? I like continuing storylines very, very much. They're one of my favorite things. Can we, can we do that? Is this for some Hi, have you calmed down? What do you have to report? Oh, we're just going back to OG dialogue? Oh. 
but I don't want to set foot in the Fontaine Research Institute ever again if I can help it. Your thoughts on the Fontaine Research Institute? I have no opinion or views on the Fontaine Research Institute for now. Once I poured my heart into my work, my passion, my sweat, I devoted so much. I'm tired now though, and happy with ordinary data collection work. I have absolutely no aptitude for research, yet you're still a researcher. Who says you don't? Edwin, he. Edward Eastinghouse said it himself. He was my superior and the one who decided if I had any ap aptitude or not. If that's all, I really should be getting made to work. It's still so much data to collect. Yeah, okay, so she doesn't technically recall that we just had an interaction together. That's super disappointing. Super duper disappointing. Okay, wow, I'm so glad that we got <laughs> we got that puzzle I wanted to do. Oh, that's nice. Okay, wait, that's all of these? That was the one up top of the cage. That's Lumidus Harbour. And then we did the one over here. No, we haven't finished that one. That's right. We're still doing... Oh no, we finished the one with the, the fish. Yes, we finished the fish one. I think off of that. Um, so we just have this. Okay, we'll continue with this one then. Uh, let's go there. This quest, which I don't like and am not enjoying, but I will finish nonetheless. I'm super disappointed that this quest, of all things, is a main quest, yet the follow-up with the Fontaine Research Institute wasn't. That just doesn't seem right. It seems unbalanced to me and kind of frustrating, considering how much I don't like this melusine. She's super annoying. So... Um, Let's just hope that we're near the end and don't need another daily reset. Come on, Boland, you can do it. Did you ship the dog across the water? Kevin, what are you doing here? Hi, Malinara, are you here to look for Saratha in the treasures? If Kevin knows, that means everyone knows. Well, I'm not here for the treasures. I just want to send Saratha back. Does your mother know? Does your mother know that you're out? Uh, yes, she came with me, but we split up. Oh, and I have to thank both of you. Wait, what if your mother gets taken captive? That's not good. After you left the other day, I thought about it for a long time. Then I went to look for my mum and we talked about a lot of things. Yay for communication. So you and your mum made up. Pam was wondering why you were so polite today. He he, good for you. Let's look for Sir Arthur, quick. I think it must have been hidden somewhere tricky. But it usually doesn't take Borland very long to find something. Yeah, but didn't the letter say that he had already been decapitated and buried? I'm a little concerned for Sir Arthur's well-being. It still looks familiar. You know, isn't this Rochelle's puppy? Yeah, he literally called it by name. Uh, oh, dogs look the same. <laughs> ah, Rocha, my mother gave me this dog and I called it Borland. I mean, that's actually my father's name and I was mad at him at the time. I got into a fight with my mum previously and I wound up venting my anger on the dog and kicking him out. Oh, child. Anger management. Good thing I found him again today, huh? Wait, so are you Bolando Lombroso? The puppy wags its tail excitedly as if saying I don't. Hold on. I'm getting confused. Slow down, slow down, slow down. So... Rocher was the drunk, and he had the dog, but he called the dog Lombroso. But now, Kevin is saying it's his dog, and he kicked him out, hence why Rocher was taking care of him. Um, and his real name's Borland, named after his father. Where did we meet Borland? I'm not going crazy, right? We've met someone in the last three days whose name was Boland. Who was it? And where were they? The only thing that keeps coming to mind was a Fatui guy down in the um, the sewer system, whatever it was called. But I don't think his name was Boland, was it? Oh my gosh, I need to Google this, but what if the quest leads us in that direction? I'll spoil it for myself. Um, notepad, make myself a note. Okay, note has been made. I will look this up if the, the story does not get us there, but I swear we've met someone by that name. Uh, whatever the case, we just need to find Sir Arthur as soon as possible. We're at the location marked on the map, but where could that bird be? If only whoever hid it had left something behind. 
Blonde has an amazing nose and can find things quickly after sniffing. Right, Lenara, look into your bag to see if anything we can use. Of Sir Arthur. I don't have anything of Sir Arthur's. Uh. Do you know I didn't touch him? You can't use a threatening letter to smell out a bird. Oh, the locket? Nope. I mean, are we trying to find, hold on, are we trying to find the bird or are we trying to find the, the thief? Because we can just use that if we're looking for the thief. Woof, woof. Let me drink something. Wait, you got it, Belland. Must have found something. The puppy wags its tail excitedly as if saying, it's in there. Is it in the hole? The entrance is too small. How do we get in? You can do it, Paimon, you tiny little child. I can do it. Let me do it. I don't want her pretty clothes to get dirty. It'd probably do her some good, to be honest. Paimon can't let you do that. What if there's something scary inside? <laughs> what are you going to do about that, Paimon, if there's something scary inside? This kid has bigger anger issues than you. He'd be able to defend himself. I'm a problem kid. They really like to throw around that phrase, don't they? And it's not problem kid, it's problem child, but whatever, semantics. Ah, I, sorry. Kevin softly climbs into the hole and something. I found it, it really is inside. Is he alive? You've changed a lot, Kevin. You're helping people out with their problems. Uh, this is what we call being selflessly selfish. He wants to find the bird because it's to his own benefit to find the bird. But in doing so, he is selflessly helping others. <laughs> selflessly selfish. You can, conversely, be selfishly selfless, of course. Uh, thank you. Let's see what's inside the chest. Sorry, I was just trying to think of which one I was. I think I'm selfishly selfless. I think. It's hard to tell sometimes. Anyway, I'll take my chest, thank you. Is it what you <gasps> wish to find? Hopefully He's been the dismembered. excitement of opening a treasure chest has at least made it a worthwhile Never experience. Look, this isn't the time. Oh, that's probably where he says he's been dismembered. Don't worry, we'll put you back together. I think this is it. Let's go to the next location. We have to get there before the others. But this is Arthur. I mean, I know it was pretty grim when I said he'd been decapitated and buried, but he's also been dismembered? This poor little bird, he's gone through a lot. He's, he's had a rough day. That's just money, right? Whatever, I'll take it. Excuse me, gentlemen. Mm, you can keep that. I don't think it's really uh, to your palate, but you can keep it nonetheless. Wow, do you think we've been here? <laughs> This probably wasn't the best way to go, but we're going this way nonetheless. Oh, hello. Hello. <laughs> oh no, someone got here before us and they're fighting over the treasure. I don't know who you are, but I'm going to beat you up. Bow your head. <laughs> Stop, I surrender. <laughs> well, what a coincidence. Are you here for the treasure too? Oh, that's right. Valberry bro was trying to hunt down his boss because his boss turned on him, etc. It's yeah. I remember. Why are you all here? Don't you believe me? Oh no, I did. I just had to find Mr. T Sir Arthur. Valberry, we're here to look for Sir Arthur. Are you here for the treasure? No, he's here for the boss. Ha! <laughs> I knew this dirty dog would come for the treasure if you heard about the news, and I got him. Um, agents. Oh, Rochelle was the third person. May, may I have the chest? I'm looking for Sir Arthur, and if I can return it to the newspaper, I might just be able to get a job. So, honey, the drunkard returning the missing item does not result in the drunkard getting a job. That's not how life works. Then I can make some money and buy my wife's things back. Bah, how pathetic. Risha, you really think that's why your wife left you, huh? She left you because you're such a pushover. 
Stand up for yourself like you did just now, and she might look at you differently. Really? Of course. Now be brave and let them have the treasure, or your wife won't be with you even in the next life. Don't say that. Take it easy. They're nice people. If you help them, they'll pay you back. In what? I mean, I suppose I've got plenty more to go around. In that case, thank you. And please, take these. What are they? Did you find another wing? Of poor little Saratha? It, it's Saratha's body. <laughs> so cruel. And is there anything else? Then it should be in the final place. Boland, come on, we're heading to the next place. <laughs> Valbury and the boss had just gone back and forth, getting ready to battle again. Huh, Lombrosa? Where did you run off to? I thought you didn't need me anymore. The puppy wags its tail excitedly as if saying, How's that possible? Lombroso? Uh, Mr. Rochu, are you mistaken? His name is Boland. What? If it wasn't for Lombroso's companionship, I wouldn't have made it this far. How could I be mistaken? Not like I can be mistaken either. What's going on here? Obviously you both share a dog. What's so hard to comprehend about that? Hey, can he belong to you both? Seeing as even I've had more than one home. Now that makes sense. Kevin accidentally drove the puppy away before, right? Maybe that's when he met Rochelle and they began roaming around together. Is that really what happened? The puppy wags his tail excitedly as if saying, that's right. Valbury, you've got some nerve. The dog won't forget its two owners. And as for you, you betrayed your own boss twice. You scheming dog. I'm going to hand you over to the Marche Fantôme. Marachose Fantôme, Mr. Syllable. I'm taking you down with me. Ah, farewell, friends. Come visit me in the Fortress of Merrifeed someday. It's a deal. Willak wants to go visit you there. Well, never mind. Forget about them. We need to hurry up and get to the last place. Oh, Kevin Rocher, are you going to fight for the puppy? No way. I was the one who really messed up. Balan can stay wherever he wants from now on. I'm fine with that too. My brother supported me when I was at my worst. I'll support him too. Yeah, let's just keep going. We don't want anyone else to beat it. us to it. What about his mother? Where's Kevin's mother? I can't even get that anymore. Rip. If I take this, where is it going to put me? Ah, um, abort. Abort. All right, come here, big boy. Uh, can I get the other one from here? I don't wanna. Take advantage of it. Anymore? Probably not. We're getting too high of the sir. Ah, oh, yes, there is. Great. This is what happens when you don't have a beta in your party or a claymore user. <laughs> you gotta rely on crabs. Now, that was only like eight or nine. I'm short for my mine 10 items. Rip. We can do it the slow way. Gatama, I choose you. So you can sacrifice for this noble cause. Jean can help. God, your cooldown's disgusting. I really need to get you more energy recharge rate, but I guess it is what it is. I hope it was only one more I needed, otherwise this was a waste of time. There we go. Done. Yay! A whole level three. Ready. As you were.
Ugh. Really? I could have gone the other way up this damn mountain. I could have just taken the path up, and instead I took the waterway. <sighs> I unintentionally made life way more difficult for myself. I don't know. Sounds, sounds pretty normal for me, actually. Okay. Well, I see everything. I'll take out the trash first. Settle down. Hello? Bulls? Take that. And that without jumping into the flames. And figure out what's going on over here. Where's the starting node? It must be through here somewhere. No. No, it is not. Bloody hell, there are puzzles everywhere. Here's Curve. The Fatui. That's interesting. Uh, is it underneath? No, because why is that there? I am perplexed. In the extreme. Okay. Let's go under then. Ah, there it is. Knew it. I need to be straight on, don't you? Close enough. Okay, so how is this gonna work? That's that. This needs to go down. That was bloody quick. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, this one's super slow. I guess we do this one first. Wait, this one will stay. No, it won't. Yes, it will. No, it won't. God, it took a while. I was like, is it not going to work? <laughs> oh, the hesitation. Abandoned property belongs to whoever panic. finds it first. They don't do that. So, it's legally yours now. Okay, we'll do this puzzle bit by bit. Or go straight through the middle, I guess. Oh, hi. Oh, my. Hey! Check this out. Here's Becca. Silence. An oversight on my be sanctified. Oh. I feel like they killed themselves. Because they, they died before he'd done his Q ability. Is it what you wish to find? That was weird. Hopefully the excitement of opening a treasure chest has at least made it yeah, a I've already got you, so I'm okay experience. going this way. I think. Okay, so we need the purple for the top. Kill <laughs> you. I see everything! Why does this thing move? That's gonna make life difficult. Oh. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Still, can I, can I have my character back? Thank you. Okay, so we're looking for purple. Has anybody seen some purple? My answer is no. There it is. This looks like a complicated puzzle. <laughs> Off you go. Is the way not clear? Oh, you're in your position and I'm blocking the light from that way. Okay, where's the starting point though? It's over here somewhere? New. Is there any light already? Ah, oh, it's here. No, sir. Deny. I 
just I don't want to overdo it. Yeah, I think it's lit. Okay, so that would be this here. Going to there. Okay, so I've got to change your height, but up or down? I genuinely can't tell. Up? No, down. Up didn't work. But I have to see when it works, so... Ugh, this angle's bullshit. There we go. Let the record show that I verbally consent to relinquishing these items into your possession. Shifting and chip. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, there's about to be more dialogue. Let me drink. <laughs>